The future of software resides in the electronic board of the machine. The tablet holds the application, or app, to run the software. The Futura creates its own Wi-Fi signal that is used to connect the tablet with the machine. This signal will not connect to the internet. It is only used for communication between the tablet and the machine. All models of the Futura come from the factory set in access point mode, meaning it is using the Wi-Fi signal from the machine to communicate with the tablet. Turn the machine on by turning the red emergency stop button counterclockwise until it pops out. The white light comes on signifying that the machine is powered up. When you first power up the machine, you'll notice that the LED lights will start to flash on and off. The lights will flash white-blue for about 30 seconds. It's searching for a LAN connection. Then it will switch to blue-blue, signifying it is trying to connect via the machine's Wi-Fi signal or an access point mode. If it does not automatically connect, go to the home screen on the tablet and open Settings, WLAN, to see if the machine is included in the Wi-Fi networks that are found. The Futura machine will show as Silka-Futura. The tablet is a standard Android operating system, so when it powers up, it's looking for a connection with internet access. Because the Wi-Fi signal of the Futura does not connect to the internet, you'll see that it says, no internet access detected, won't automatically connect. In this case, tap on the Silka Futura, tell it to connect. Now you see it says connected, no internet. If you're prompted for a password, the Futura serial number, made up of 13 numbers, is the required password. The message will change to connected, no internet. Once the connection is made between the tablet and the machine, go back to the home screen, tap on the Silka Futura app, You'll see a message, please wait, loading page. It will take a few minutes for the software to download once the tablet has made connection with the machine. If the page does not load at this point, swipe on the tablet from left to right to pull out the menu. Tap connect to. Start search and the Futura will pop up. Tap Futura, and it will connect. As mentioned earlier, the Android tablet may not automatically connect to the Futura, and you may have to force it to connect. You may want to consider tethering the tablet to the machine, thereby eliminating this issue. To tether the tablet to the machine, plug the tablet's power cord into the bottom USB port on the machine. Then go to the settings menu on the tablet. Under networks and wireless, select more, tethering, and on the right hand side of the screen, switch tethering to on. The Futura will reboot at this point and the program will reload. Two things to keep in mind. The default connection is access point mode via the Wi-Fi signal. So when you turn the machine off and turn it back on, it will always try to connect via the Wi-Fi signal. You will have to go into the settings menu and select the tethering mode again if you want it tethered. The other item is that when tethered, the tablet is only receiving a trickle charge. So you may need to plug the tablet into the top USB port each night to fully charge the battery on the tablet.